mwili sababu kuambiwa kwamba hauwezi mm. lakini kwenye list ukapatana na Jeff Koinange Coinage akakwambia <laughs> kwamba one day yes your name everybody your will know your name, name. Sasa hivi kila mmoja anajua jina lako. Je, muhusika ambaye alikwambia kwamba huwezi, mm. anajua jina lako na anakukumbuka? Uh, you know actually uh, baada ya kuajiriwa mm. pale pale tu Oktoba tuseme Septemba nikafanya uh, story ama tuzie ni hadithi. Mm. Pale hivi kwenye television. Mm. Na alikuwa kwenye hiyo newsroom ingine akauliza akauliza mwenzake. Akasema ah, huzi nule wili zule. Akamwambia yes uli mkataa ndo ule sasa nafanya kazi pale. Eh hey, aka akanyama akanyama akanyamaza akaendelea aka na shughuli. Mshaiongea? Aka hapa bado. Hata. Hata. Hata 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 hata. Hata, hata mwenyewe aliachishwa kazi ukule. Ah oh, na kupatana tu mjini mjini ama amekwenda assignment. Hai hatujawai. There's a lesson. Bali siwezi msahau. Hawezi msahau. Yeah. Kwanza actually alikujenga. Yeah alimjenga. Alikupa, alikupa, sana. alikupa challenge. Naam. Na pia alikupatia somo, alikupatia testimony. Yes. Ambao sasa hivi unashare na kijana mwingine, demu mwingine hapo ambaye ameambiwa, so mm. many of us, so many of us tushaambiwa kwamba no you can't do it, just yes. leave it. When you told you can't, sasa so unakuwa unafanya. Watu wengi sana, watu wengi sana wanakuambia kwamba hauwezi kufanya kitu fulani. Mm. Wao nikumbusha mm-hmm. ile somo ya professor J. Okay, tunalinganisha kama yani wale maadui mm. ambao wakati mwingine unahitaji mtu ambaye na simu kwa ni adui yako, mm-hmm. kwa hiyo kutia bidii. Naam. You know, maneno yanangoja tu uanguke lakini unaji unatia bidii. Unajikakamua. Unajikakamua. Naam. <laughs> kwa hivyo kabla tujapokea simu yako ningependa tu ujifunze kitu kimoja kutoka kwa Willis ni kwamba wakati watu wanakuambia kwamba hauwezi eh mm. mm. kama mtu anakuambia kwamba hauwezi kufanya jambo mm. una choices mbili choice ya kwanza kukubali kwamba kweli hauwezi mm-hmm. ya pili kujiambia kwamba no, unaweza kwamba mm. yani hapo ulipofika mm-hmm. ya kwa mambo mengi ambayo uliyopitia no. unajua kuna kijana ambaye sasa hivi kuna dream ya kuwa pale ambapo upo ama zaidi ya pale ambapo upo mm ndio kama kuna vitu vidi vitatu ambavyo anaweza kujifunza kutoka kwako kulingana na professional ambao umefanya ni shekhi kwenye interview kitambo ukashare safari yako but one thing ambao watu wengi hawajui kuhusiana na safari yako kufika hapa ni kama kitu gani ah ni kama niliwaambiwa kwamba mimi sina sauti ya radio ama mm-hmm. tv na nikanyemwa nafasi ku kutangaza ndio mm-hmm. kwenye another station nilikuwa bado intern mm-hmm. and of course the rule ya kwamba before when he wanted lazima ufanye screen test yeah. voice mm-hmm. test yes mimi nikamwambia kwamba you don't have a voice for tv and you'll never be on tv no broadcasting voice at no all no broadcasting yani you are told you will never be never. never ever never ever how many years ago was that mm, that was 12 years ago 11 years ago 11 years ago ukaambiwa kwamba willis hautawahi kuja kuwa kwenye tv na radio naam how did you check that did you Actually what happened because nilikuwa kwa hiyo station mm-hmm. and the person mnyalikuwa amekaa karibu na huyo mkubwa mm-hmm. akiniambia hivyo ilikuwa ni Jeff Koinange alikuwa amekaa pale tu ana anafanya tu mambo yake tu wow. kisha as I was leaving tukakutana naye kwa elevator uh, kwa lift akanikuwa eh hey, Jeff Jeff it, it happened that sasa mimi niki niki nikishuka yeye alikuwa na sasa anapanda pale kwenye ground floor mm-hmm. so akaniambia ah listen my brother I heard what that man told you. Of course I'll meet Gina. Like man no don't you give up okay? One day everybody will know your name. Akaniambia hivyo. Na akasawa akapanda zake jua kaenda. Alisema one day everybody will know your name. Deep. 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 So baada ya kupewa hayo maeno mawili, moja ya kukubomoa, moja ya kujenga. Naam, nikaamua kuchukua ya kujenga. And then I went back because it was a time when I had the option ningepata the job at that time singer rudi campus ninge transfer because ni kwa mo university eldoret mm. so ninge kwenda kutaka nipate kazi kisha ni transfer ni malize mo university nairobi campus yes but sasa akakata so ninge rudi zangu eldoret hadi sasa alex chamwanda akakuja katuongelesha pale shule akasema kwamba media is this difficult you will not have a social life alitwambia hivyo na and then uh-huh. ukapanda pandaje ngazi mpaka ukafika hapa ukapata kazi nilianza kama intern hapa hivi because vile nilisema Alex alituongelesha mm. and then nikachukua namba namba nikachukua namba yake mm. uh, and then after that uh, ikawa kwamba nina nina sasa nina ninamwambia kwamba tuko na opportunity kulikuwa na sisi pale mu university unafanya mm. fourth year exams kwanza mm. kisha ndo unaenda mm. internship so inakuwa graded hivyo uh-huh. so tukapambana tukapambana hapa uh, tukapiga simu kwa Masiaburu 
to come yes to come here we are unfortunately we are not able to make it for the internship uh, interview because we have our exam mm. please give us a chance akakata to come pick here to come pick here to come pick here to come pick here kutoka i think 11 wakati pepe ilisha the last time to we call in 5 pm akatwambia listen where are you now to come in eldoret akatwambia you be in the office in nairobi at 8 if you come at 7:59 i won't see you if you come at 8 or 1 i won't see you be in eldoret tukafunga virago na kila kitu be in nairobi right yes. tukafunga kila kitu tukakuja hapa nikaanza nikapewa nafasi nikapita hiyo interview tulio interview kwa reception hata tukaenda kwenye boardroom kwenye reception tu akatuliza white citizen nikasema nikaangalia hivi nje nikajua nika na board iko na hizo station zote because it looks like citizen is a family and if i join as the last one of the family i am sure i'll be the favorite child nikamwambia hivi good one akaniambia okay do you have anything to give me nikampatia my one page cv ni one page lakini ni half cv ni half hapo juu peke yake na 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 magazine to comment akasema all right we'll communicate if i don't call you we have communicated ouch that's what you told yes Masi susi. Masi obu. Nam. But when I nikapigwa simu na that time Sheila, na nikakuja sasa nikawa intern uh, April, May, June, July 2000 and 2010. Aha. Uh-huh. Wakaniambia basi wewe wengine wakienda na wewe baki. Maana I had done extra stories. Nilikuwa nimejituma pale nikaanza kufanya PTCs. Then mm-hmm. went the extra mile to be extraordinary. Apo sawa. To stand out. Yeah. Usipani. Even though ilikuwa sasa. Uh-huh. So okay, hey, then uh, during uh, sasa hiyo time about August nika waka announce Peter Ponda alikuwa ndio mkubwa hiyo time. Uh-huh. Akasema tulikuwa tuko meet me hata nilikuwa nime zone out. Nasema kwani huyu jamaa anasema nini hapa? Ah sawa anapanga tu sorry. Mimi ni intern sitapewa story ama nitapewa story ile tulikuwa naitwa round up. Ni mwisho kule huko chini kifunga bullet. Nikasema ah sasa niko tu kwa simu nikasikia tu that's why we are giving that young man a job. Oh. Nikaangalia juu niko na kila mtu ananiangalia. The young man. The last one. Finally. 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 Kisha wakaniambia bus watapata job ikaanza sasa officially ilipata baru yangu October 1st 2010. Ndio nilifanya kutia sahihi. Ukaingia kwenye newsroom? Naam. Ukaleta ubunifu katika entertainment? Naam. Ukawa bazu. Bazu. Rambia wakalale. Dije flash ebu rambisha ile dude, alafu tarudi kuweza kulizungumzia. Rambisha tu kama vile unachukua sali ukachovya kidogo kikalambika, utamu ukakolea, unanogea zaidi. Lakini kwa rambisha kwanza. Ningependa kabla hawajaondoka waweze uh, waweze kutufahamisha kuhusiana kitu ambacho kiliinspire uh, mystery mi yao, unajua? Mm-hmm. Lakini kwanza Willis, one thing I would like to know kutoka kwako ni kuhusiana wewe na kuchukua mwelekeo wa tasnia ya burudani katika kitu cha kali na kuimba. Unajua? Ili hii idea ya kuweza kufanya hichi kitu ilitokea. Wewe ni unapenda kufanya all the way from when I was a young uh, little boy mm. niki grow nilikuwa napenda sana kuchukua remote control pale kwa nyumba na sema yo 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 pale mimi ni Eminem pale mimi ni Jay-Z pale mimi ni Cannibal pale mm. all of that. Mm. Then uh, I knew that one day lazima nifanye hivyo. Then one day the same same but we Jeff Kwenange ame in fact nafaa kumnunia gift sasa. Manake nilikuwa na watch the bench nilikuwa na muhubiri aliaga anaitwa Miles Monroe. Oh yeah. Anasema kwamba your goal in life is to die empty. Which means make sure everything in Mungu ameweka ndani yako talanta mm-hmm. if you feel you can do it whether ni kuimba writing a book do it all right so nikasema ah bas this is what i've always wanted to do and now during covid nikaza ku reflect nikasema bas wacha nifanye and and it took it took uh nilifanya nili and also i think pia ilikuwa the right time because it take about two weeks from idea kupeana wimbo ku shoot video ku release mm ikachukua 2 weeks na ikakuwa hivyo sasa. Okay so um when you thought of doing this song? Yes. Kalale. Mm. Um ulikuwa nataka kufikisha ujumbe gani kwa uh, mtarajiwa? Again nilikwambia kwamba uh, first of all the song ilikuwa ito utamu wa life because it was supposed to be a feel good song lakini nikamwambia reckless mm. niandikie you know a verse mm. I mean a hook. Mm-hmm. Akasema atasema nataka song ijaje nikasema ina utamu wa life oh. akasema ah mimi nitakupatia tu vile vile na i feel. Nikasema sawa hiyo kwa 10 o'clock nilikuwa naenda hapa hivi naingia hot 96 mm. kisha by 10:45 alikuwa ashatuma eh kila kitu amesha mix down amesha fanya part yake kalale nikasikia kem kem what a one eh what did i miss nikasema ah basi uite kalale and kalale is kuambia all the haters haters 
kama una machungu kama una beef kama una u, wale wale walinimbia kama <laughs> wale wale limbia, no everybody <laughs> anything ya kalale wale mimi hata hata kama like tunaenda tunaenda tunasema tunaenda club yani kuna mzuka pale alafu kadota nakataa ah tunaambia basi kalale <laughs> ah <laughs> ndio ilikuwa ehe uh-huh. lengo no. so um kuna wasanii wengi sana naamini ama vipi kadota definitely so many artists out here but you chose Sisaru <laughs> ulichagua uli uli tu hao yeah. kwa nini yeah. why did you come up with those because there are people ambao wa reach out lakini wakasleki hapana mm-hmm. actually mm. these people what happened was i reached out to them because Um, nilikuwa nataka ku create people who ordinarily hamge on a kokoso song one, one song mm-hmm. then i wanted mtu mwenye kona because the song is the hook yeah wimbo ni hook kama oh, yeah. 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 so nikasema bas wacha nitafute reckless all right so nikareach out to reckless akafanya mambo yake then i've always 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 tangu za zamani mm-hmm. major has always been an artist nampenda sana mm-hmm. then fresh to the game the first artist ever kuni big up kwa song ilikuwa Brida mm-hmm. ilikuwa Calicatel 3 yeah. alisema tena what time ni shai kamili eh shai hiyo ni kama account tena what time ni shai kamilisha kama Willis alafu hapo ndo sasa because aliandika hivyo aka prompt oji kusema tena what time big shout out to tena big shout out to Willis Roburu kwa ku support again and again sasa Brida nikasema bas Brida lazima nichukue then now Saru i think she is an artist who ako na what tunaita okay, bars mm-hmm. ako na the right attitude in her music ako na eh, yani almost to say makona pans pans ni nini ni ni utani mm-hmm. yeah a little bit of pans creativity pale kwenye mm-hmm. <laughs> kwenye music yake mm. and the way she lays the verses yani mm. ital female artist omana akona zile bars upon bars upon bars so ni kwacha kwao yuko na bars lakini hauzi yeah. pombe ni <laughs> ushaelewa <laughs> <laughs> anyway um it's amazing kwa mbona hizo come up na wao wote wakapiga mistari kuna kitu kimoja ambacho kiko notable katika wimbo mm. watu wengi wamezoea kwamba ukisikiza midundo kama ile bado unasikia ma Hapwise, but mm. you are able to keep this song even the video is very very uh, clean, you was know? it your was it your direction Amel actually uh, i didn't i guess maybe, a... maybe ni hao tu aliamua ah kama ni willis basi ende hivi <laughs> which is a good thing for for <laughs> uh-huh. me um because i didn't tell them i didn't see my my thing is dio watu sema there is those is a lewd lyrics watu wana matusi ni nini yeah. but then again ni usema awezi fungia mtu kwa art that's how they express themselves mm. music is an expression mm. of self mm. Mm-hmm. So kama mtu anaji expressive muacha ji expressive mm-hmm. then tutengeneze badai bas mm-hmm. you know but don't say uh, he was like sema okay sita irudia but akisema <laughs> flani ama part flani tufanye mambo nayo uh. alafu unasikia wapi akadi bi uh. una, una bounce along alafu sasa hiyo ni inaitwa hypocrisy uh-huh. so what i did niliwaambia i just let them flow and when i had the flow I was like hey cool uh-huh. hata kama wangaimba hizo vitu bado ninge kwa kwa, kwa video but, I think uh, that is a, a testament to to them I think they'll always get the vibe of the song wakasema wacha tu tuende in this direction